All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three more rounds of action out of the 119 pound weight division, full rules Muay Thai. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the floral trunks, weighing in at 120. He represents Ascension Athletics with a record of five wins, two losses, and he did this, one of those wins by way of knockout. From Bristol, Connecticut, Jeremiah Kid Flash Vega. All right, and fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he's wearing the black trunks with the white trim and weighing in at 119 pounds. Representing Seton Jim Muay Thai with an undefeated record, 6-0. From Guatemala by way of Queens, Pedro Sai. Okay, you've all been given your rules. Give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I did a break, break clean. Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. A couple of newcomers to Friday Night Fight set to do battle on our 2019 season premiere. That's Pedro Sai there on the left side of your screen coming in with a 6-0 record. He goes up against Jeremiah Vega who comes in at 5-2 with one knockout to his credit. Pedro Sai in the black trunks with the American flag on the sides. He fights out of the Sichon Gym in Queens, New York, originally from Solola, Guatemala. Jeremiah Vega, Vega, a Brooklyn native, now resides in Bristol, Connecticut, and he fights for Ascension Athletics. Jeremiah wearing the floral pattern trunks. Pedro Sai in the black, and as you can see, Pedro at somewhat of a height disadvantage here. He is five foot two, and Vega is five foot eight. And I think he's using that to his advantage. He's crowding Jeremiah, staying on the inside. Overhand and, right. And then he's making him reach too, which I like to see the shorter fighters do a lot. People always think, oh, it's the tall guy's got to stay outside. But the shorter guy can also stay on the outside and make the tall guy reach. And kind one of, of our favorites here on Friday Night Fights, often has a height disadvantage, is Juan Mucho Macho Cortez. Oh, but he's that only 5'4". He does a ton of damage inside a small package. Yeah, so. I, I've sparred with that kid. He's, he's fun, man. He's, he likes to bring it. And Pedro looks like he has similar energy undeterred by the six inch height disadvantage he's given up to Jeremiah Vega. But I like how they're also feeling each other out. They're not just out there swinging and going for it like, 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 like you think B-class fighters would. They're setting things up. These guys take it serious. It's a 119 pound fight between Sai and Vega. Vega, very intense young man. Speaking to him a little bit earlier. Before the fight, very focused on what he was doing. Pedro, similar, but seemed a little more at ease prior to stepping into the ring this evening. Keeps chopping that right hand over the top. Final seconds of round number one. Sidekick try there from Vega. Sai answers with an outside leg kick, and there's the bell to end round number one. Good action there. Good first round. From two guys with impressive uh, records early in their Class B careers. Pedro Sai, 6-0, trying to keep his record perfect. And Jeremiah Vega at 5-2. Pedro on the left side of your screen there, 30, 31 years of age. Jeremiah Vega is 24. It looks like Pedro's kind of got a game plan, and it seems like he's sticking with it. You look, look at the land that overhand right, chop the leg. And, it, and at five foot two, you got to figure he's used to going up against taller opponents. Yeah, this is probably not his first time fighting somebody taller than him. Obviously not having, showing any ill effects of that so far through one round. We'll see how it goes in round two for Pedro Sai. Kevin Mulhall, our third man in the ring for this bout. You're watching Friday Night Fights, our 2019 season opener, folks. Ari Alagami with Jason Strout from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. I like that punch set up by Jeremiah, but I wish he would have thrown a little steam on it. You now you can tap, 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 but if there's no threat involved, the other guy's going to walk right through it. Right hand landed to the chin that time for Vega. It also looks like Vega's trying to kind of set up his range a little bit. It fell in a little too close there. A second before, he was throwing those punches from a distance, and it was working great. Sai's been loading up on that right hand. 
Vegas shook his head, no, no, that the punch didn't hurt him, but, but definitely got walking, Vegas' attention. He keeps walking forward. I like to see him kind of sit back a little bit, make, make Sai miss, and then counter with something. Nice inside leg kick for Sai. Checks away a Vega kick. I think Vega's feet are just all over the place. He doesn't know if he's lefty or righty. Straight jab lands for Pedro Sai. Like Jason said a moment ago. Very nice jab by Vega. I'd like to see him use that a little more to set it up. You know, if you got the height, use it. Use your advantages. Right there. If he just keeps tapping away, tapping away, he'll set a lot up. Now back to that jab. Look at that. He doesn't have to throw it hard, Vega. He just got to put it in his face. There he is, lefty again. Nice combination from Vega. Maybe his best moment of the fight so far. But when Pedro Sai, even though Vega's been coming forward, it seems like Pedro's kind of been in control of the action, Jason. Definitely. I have to agree with you on that one. Back elbow try by Vega. Final 10 seconds. Now Vega on his heels, excuse me, Sai on his heels for a moment. Sai keeps chopping that leg every single time he gets a chance. Nice teeth by Jeremiah Vega to end round number two. Good action by these two Class B fighters. And we see in the corner on the left side, in the blue corner of Pedro Sai, Omar Estevez, part of the Seton family, helping out with Joel. With jo with, uh, And there's the punch right there that Vega shook off. But you never know sometimes, Jason. Sometimes fighters shake it off, but that's almost an indication that they did notice that they did feel the punch. Yeah, it's weird to get hit hard. You shake your head again. It doesn't make any sense. Like, you think you're going to shake yourself back to consciousness or be able to focus after you shake your head. But it's just making your brain shake even more. Like, give it a rest for a second. But I've done it. I've been hit hard. I catch myself shaking my head back and forth. It doesn't really make any sense. Jason Stroud, decorated amateur fighter in his own right now, a renowned coach in the New York City area at Church Street Boxing, just a few blocks from where we are now. Round three underway, Pedro Sai and Jeremiah Vega touch gloves and hug it up as we come down the stretch here in a 119-pound affair. Nice punch combination by Vega. Sai works his way out of the corner, but Vega on the attack here in the early going of this round. Nice slip to the right there by Vega, but he could not connect on the right hand. Vega lands so much more when he just relaxed and throws those punches right down the middle. Then he gets a little emotional and gets a little wide. And his percentage of landing goes down. Just keep throwing straight down the middle. It's going to land all day. Outside leg kick by side. See, he kind of falls in. Vega falls in when he throws that one, two, and he kind of steps and his feet get a little messed up. If he just would stay strong in that stance, he'd be very dangerous. Right there, he should be popping that jab out. And then following up with a good kick. Jump knee attempt and a teep by Jeremiah. And he avoids the leg kick nicely thrown by side. Pedro comes with a straight left and then a right to follow up. Good action here. Again, Jeremiah Vega in the floral trunk, Sai in the black with the American flag on the right leg. Jumping right legged kick by Pedro. Misses with the right hand. Vega's fighting him off here. Vega has Sai in a dangerous spot here in the corner, but Pedro fights his way out with an overhand right. Nice low kick, I think it's starting to take effect. And a nice block by Sai, but this time Vega is able to land. Tough round to score. Both fighters doing some good work in there, Jason. It is a tough round, and Vega keeps backing Sai up this round. Oh, he's doing Both. some damage on that leg, that's for sure. Both fighters reaching down at the end of that third round and unloading on each other. That was a fun fight between Jeremiah Vega and Pedro Sai. Let's take a look at some of the action from that third round, and I think Vega he really finally started to get comfortable here down the stretch. I think stretch. he did, yeah. I think he's like a you know, five-round fighter versus a three-round fighter. But I'd like to see him keep his feet under him a little more, you know? He's falling over a little too much. I think he'd have a 
more effective blows, like the kicks. He threw that, it wasn't a, the best balance when he threw that kick. He just kind of tossed it up there. He's just kind of throwing things out there like he's playing almost. Like, he had that intensity. If you learn how to plant his feet and kick and punch, he'd be devastating. Especially with the height like that. Vegas did have some crack. really sh sh good straight right hand there, but Sai came right back with the overhand right. And now Jeremiah looking for some support from the crowd. The New York City native now calls Bristol, Connecticut home. Jeremiah fights with the team from Ascension Athletics. Trains under Matt Bassett and Jeff Haddad. And of course, Pedro Sai out of the seat on Jim. Works with Aziz Navi, Joel Estevez, and tonight Omar Estevez helping out in the blue corner as well. And we'll see another great member of the Seton family at ringside cheering on Pedro and Rami Ibrahim. Our ring announcer, Connor Hall, has the scorecards. We'll go to him for the official particulars right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner after three rounds of action, and it is by split decision. Judge A sees this 28-29 in favor of the red corner. Judge B sees this 29-28 in favor of the blue corner. Judge C sees this 27-30 in favor of Jeremiah Vega. Jason Stroud, I would say that the 29-28, you, you can see it going either way. Yeah. But 30-27 for Vega, that's a little bit surprising. Yeah, that's a little surprising. But 